responsibility. Percy was spending the night at the sheds at the big station. He was due to take trucks back to Thomas's branch line the next morning. The bigger engines were glad to see him. It's nice to have you with us for a change. I trust you, Thomas, and Toby are running that branch line of yours efficiently? Um, I think so, Gordon. Although he wasn't quite sure what efficiently meant. That's right. No late trains or angry passengers. An efficient railway is a great responsibility, as I, of course, know only too well. What the fat controller would do without me to keep things running smoothly, I can't imagine. Henry and James do their best, but someone has to keep a responsible eye on things, hmm? Oh, it must be splendid to race along with a train of heavy coaches. When you were ill that time, it took Thomas, Duck, and me to move them. And even then, the three of us couldn't go very fast. Never mind. You kept things running. That's what matters. It's a knack, I suppose. My big wheels help, but there's more to it than that, of course. This morning, Gordon had steam up before Percy. Percy needed water, but because he hadn't enough steam to move, Gordon offered to push him to the water tower. Thank you, Gordon. That would be very kind. Not at all. It all helps with the smooth running of the railway. Responsibilities, my dear Percy. Responsibilities. Percy had a long drink, and soon his steam pressure had risen nicely. Gordon, meanwhile, hadn't returned to the shed. He dozed in the sun. Percy moved away. Gordon tried to follow him, but he found he couldn't. Come on, Gordon. We haven't got all day. Your train's due in an hour. Oh, I can't move! I've got a cramp! I can't move my pistons! Percy's driver came to see what was the matter. The fireman went to find an inspector. Percy buffered gently up to Gordon's front. Puffing hard, he managed to push Gordon back into the shed. then went quietly to fetch his trucks. He didn't say anything. It somehow didn't seem tactful. Later, when Percy met Thomas at the junction, he told him about what had happened. Oh, poor old Gordon. <laughs> but that's what it is to have responsibilities. And 
two engines puffed off to run the branch line as efficiently as they knew how.